Hey guys, okay, on to the uh, next um, episode of our um, How We Did It portion of this build series. Um, this topic is probably the singularly, singularly most important um, mod or uh, uh, activity that you can do on these race cars, uh, particularly with the M54 motor. Um, and this relates to the failure of the oil pump behind me here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to swing it around and uh, yeah, take you through it. So the M54 is notorious for um, co having basically complete catastrophic engine failure as a result of uh, loss of oil pressure, which happens pretty instantaneously when this nut uh, spins itself off the sprocket. The sprocket comes loose, the pump um, is no longer being driven, and you lose oil pressure. And of course, under race conditions, you're probably looking at the track and not at your instruments. And um, yeah, you end up with, uh, with a piece of scrap in the front of your car. And there's a lot of speculation as to what causes this. I think it's safe to uh, conclude um, that this is related to a resonant frequency of vibration, uh, which is particular to this motor. Um, and it only really occurs at very high RPM, probably somewhere around six and a half thousand RPM and up. So under normal daily driving, um, you're not going to spend long enough at your red lo uh, at your red line or on the, on, the, on the rev limiter to invoke these kinds of issues. But for a car that has been tuned for the track and is going to be working really hard up at, up at and around the red line, um, this is a very common failure point. So there are a number of um, of, of apparent fixes which um, which people have undertaken in an attempt to deal with the issue. Uh, most of it being really focusing on the sprocket and thinking, well, you know, if the nut comes off, let's stop it coming off. Um, so there's uh, one solution is to basically tack weld the nut onto the sprocket itself. And the second is uh, to wire the nut, uh, which is the option that I've gone for. So you can see uh, the, the, the nut is drilled um, and then wired onto the sprocket itself. So in the event of it uh, coming loose, um, it, it's a left-hand thread, by the way, so it's going to want to rotate clockwise. Um, and it's going to immediately come up against the wire tension. Um, I've also put a red Loctite on there, so that's basically the thread locker which requires heat to remove it. Um, so in theory, that should do the trick, but um, guys have reported that even with those kinds of mods, um, they get failure. Um, in some cases, the shaft actually shears off, so it just goes to show that there's still some pretty hairy... Um, uh, vibrations and harmonics going on which are which are stressing this component tremendously so the question is um, if, the, if those harmonics are there um, basically of one or two, of, of two options um, the one is to completely upgrade this um, oil pump assembly and there are upgrades available but they, they're hellishly pricey uh, they involve um, different hardened shafts with with three uh, external bolts as well as the center bolt um, there's a range of, of, of different upgraded pumps um, but my approach is to rather look at um, you know what are those harmonics and are they really all necessary and are they there by design or are some of these as a result of the age of the car so the one potential contributor is the um, harmonic balancer I mean and the name is a giveaway um, so it's the big pulley that you've got on the front of the car it's off here right now uh, you recall from a previous episode that we've replaced that um, really preemptively because um, I believe that if that balancer has slipped um, that you're not getting the harmonic damping that you should be getting and you're going to aggravate this issue. So we've got a brand new balancer which goes on there. Um, the second thing is, um, and it's also not on the car at the moment, it'll come on with the new M3 oil housing, is um, the serpentine belt tensioner. Um, in the case of the M3s and some of the six-cylinder cars, they get hydraulic ones. Other cars get spring-loaded, and the purpose of the hydraulic is that it actually has damping as well as tensioning. So um, I've also replaced the, um, the uh, hydraulic element in that to make sure that we've got a properly damped um, serpentine belt. And then the final um, fix is something which is quite uncommon um, and is quite a new concept. Um, came across this on the, on the web where um, guys actually picked up that there is a tremendous amount of slack on this, on this chain. And the idea is that this chain is whipping around um, at high RPM and you can imagine the kind of dynamic stresses that it, get, that it puts onto the pump. And I'm sorry I didn't take... Uh, this video before I put the timing cover back on, but I've got some stills which I'll try and upload. But basically what I've done here is retrofit a tensioner, a spring-loaded tensioner, 
onto this um, oil pump drive. Um, and the tensioner, for those of you who want to know, because this isn't published anywhere, um, is actually from a Volkswagen. So it's a, uh, from the Volkswagen and Audi family of engines. Uh, this one in particular is from, um, I think the, kind of the 16, 1800 two liter uh, four cylinder range. Um, uh, the, the TDI is identical, um, but I just uh, think that one comes in a kit and this one was available um, loose. Uh, pick it up from Goldwagen, 60 bucks, um, and it gets drilled and tapped into the block, and uh, there you go. So with that, with that now we've got nice, um, uh, taut um, uh, oil pump drive. So, yep, I hope that uh, helps some of you guys out who are planning to rev your cars hard.